Okay. Okay, Daniel, there's a lot to like in your stance, a lot of good athletic ability. You've been seeing me for a few years, and we're, we're making a ton of progress. I really like what I see overall. Um, what we see that we need to tune up. Your entire head-to-tail platform, probably a little too low to the ground. You're not leaving yourself enough operating room to make a quick, uninhibited throw down through the legs. You're a little overextended downfield, basically. That pulls a little too much weight forward. And being a good athlete, what you try to do to counterbalance that is you're hunkering down the rear kind of deep. Um, your knees are beyond 90 degrees, which is not a powerful explosive starting position. Think about taking squats and going too deep. Muscles are overstretched. They can't rebound and recover in the opposite direction as powerfully as you could and quickly. Uh, you're overstretched on the field. And that pulls you down low to the ground as well. You finish on the heels a little bit as well, but we'll see what happens when we get you set up right. What we need to do is take the head to tail platform, elevate it an inch or two higher off the ground. By moving vertically further from the ball, you can bring it closer while preserving a great arm extension. And then we're just going to shove the weight around to get those knees directly over the toes for perfect balance. Okay? Hop in. We're going to do a three-step to start. Let's do it right on the line, okay? Are you ready? Okay. First thing I do is pull you forward, get the knee bend to 90 or less, straighten the back, fully extend the arms. Then I'm going to raise you up, maximizing operating room under the torso. Last thing I'm going to do is shove you back into the hips towards your target. So the heels touch the ground, knees are over the toes, you saw it on your feet. Now, are you comfortable? Yes, sir. Lift that ball off the ground for a second. Let's make sure you're balanced. You're not on the flat footed, are you? Yes, sir. Okay, give it a good, hard, aggressive throw. How'd it feel? Good. Awesome. Where did it go? Uh, okay. Right in the gut. A perfect setup will lead to a perfect snap because everything goes where it should. Down the spine to the target, up through the hips to the target, converging in an arrow point, capturing all motion energy from toes to the top of the cranium and directing it at your, at your punter. Okay, let's go ahead and do it one more time. So you're a little overextended, you were hunkering back to counterbalance, being overstretched. We elevated your platform, brought you a little closer to the ball, probably functionally, okay? That took care of arm overextension and got you better balance. Throw it hard. Pretty solid. Now, the only other thing I'd like to see, well, two things. Number one, throw harder. Now that we got you set right, nothing's going to go wrong. Okay, be confident. Uh, the other thing is, don't get in that habit of popping up at the waist, because when you pop up at the waist, your center of gravity tends to roll behind the hips. That's why you're finishing on your heels. You want to finish, finish here, break it down. Be in a position from which you can do what comes next. Cover the field, block, whatever it is you need to do. Okay? Okay, just going to make sure you're groovy and solid. Looking good. Throw it hard. Good. Nice job. Okay. Now, you've got a great discipline when we're only snapping, not worrying about blocking the covering, of keeping that finish watching the ball. That's fantastic. You're training for muscle memory. You're going to want to eventually get to a point where you're getting your head back up to do what comes next. Do you have any questions? Yes, okay, good job, Daniel. Let's get... World.